A horse massage therapist is suing the state of Minnesota in federal court and believes her First Amendment rights were violated. Reporter Sammy Holliday has more. Lita Mox has been massaging horses since 1998. After moving to Minnesota, she started Armstrong Equine Massage Therapy with the mission of not only helping the animals, but also spreading her knowledge to others. So what, what I provide is an educational opportunity that people can come and learn how to communicate with horses, how to take care of horses. We kind of cover a lot more than just massage out here. Um, we do give riding lessons. I work a lot with the 4-H, local 4-H clubs, and um, my kids are in 4-H, so I'm one of the 4-H horse project leaders. And so everything we do out here is just to educate people about horses. Which leads to her current dilemma. The Minnesota Office of Higher Education is requiring her to go through a licensing process to keep her business open. The state wants to put me into a box, basically saying that I would be considered a private career school or trade school. And in actuality, we have a, a certification program to teach people how to massage horses. The process includes a $2,500 initial licensing fee, as well as an annual renewal of $1,150, which will also require regular inspections and a lot more paperwork for her students, some of whom don't even intend to open equine massage businesses themselves, which Mox believes is why her class relates to other hobbies. If I go and spend the money to pay for, let's say, a quilting class, I want something to show that I've taken this quilting class. At Armstrong Equine, they have been certifying people interested in equine massage since 2013. So why does the state feel the need to get involved now? Well, it appears everyone is looking for that answer. Reporting in Becker, Sammy Holiday, Lakeland News. Mox hopes that this can be resolved as soon as possible and hopes her case can set precedents for similar businesses. She's being represented by the Institute for Justice, a national nonprofit public interest law firm. The state of Minnesota declined to comment about ongoing litigation. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.